Hey everybody, Joseph Rothschild here, aka MBT, back with another Twitter thread. Now if you're unfamiliar, Yu-Gi-Oh has some of the best art in any card game ever. But unfortunately, some of that art is just a little too raucous for our... What the fuck? That said, sometimes the things drawn on Yu-Gi-Oh cards offend our naive American sensibilities. We can only look at so many pictures of Hungry Burger before we get freaked out by a slightly nude machine. So today I'm asking you what the weirdest instances of censorship in Yu-Gi-Oh card art are. What are the things that Konami thought that we couldn't take when cards were shipped to the TCG? And I'm beginning with a personal favorite of mine, Flying Fortress Skyfire. This card is almost impossible to summon and almost impossible to look at without your eyes turning into big bulging monstrosities like a wolf in a cartoon from the 30s. Auga! You better get the best for me. They took it away. They neutered him for the American release. Man's got a glass of wine, a cigar, and a fine babe is coming to serve him what appears to be a bowl of gravy. This is every male's fantasy. In the edit, <laughs> he's got nothing, and the woman's clothes are normal. And notably, you can see in the back, the uh, carafe of wine has changed into what appears to be orange juice. It's Mu Yan Curry looking at a bowl of curry. Damn, is that gravy? Get her done. Morphtronic Datatron is my favorite one. It was Chakan, i.e. igniter or ignition. So the censorship changed it to a weird USB drive. <laughs> That's actually kind of funny. That's not bad. In America, they gave Gaga Gigo shorts. Okay, in their defense, he looks fucking naked in Japan. This one is a damn shame. Uh, Watt Cancel used to show uh, Ojama Yellow being electrocuted. Deserved, by the way. And they changed it to just a lightning bolt with a big X in front of it. As a kid, I thought it was weird how Mermaid Knight was wearing a skin-tight outfit and thought for sure they would have censored it. Turns out they did. They have simply painted her abdomen blue. I'm blue. Why did the polymerization art change? I don't know. I feel like I'm playing Spot the Difference. What the hell is, what What was the change? She's got titty buttons. Shouts out to everyone's favorite hand loop and gun shooting, not Dark Scorpion Man. Uh, although I'm not sure what he's gonna use the bandolier of ammo for in his TCG art. I'm gonna be honest with you, Knife Don Zelug looks much cooler. Yeah, this one's fun. Um, the old art of Barrel Dragon, the guns look just a little bit too realistic, so they changed them into laser guns. They even censored Toon Barrel Dragon. It's got a revolver cylinder in the uh, OCG, and here they just made it the same laser gun from earlier, but it's still shooting the BBs. The Edge Imps, when they came to America, they were censored, but they really just made the art brighter? I legitimately don't know what they thought this was going to resolve. You can clearly still tell those are scissors, right? This is still a saw. This one is just greener. What is this, a laser axe? You think Tiger just has a big cross coming out of him like the end of Evangelion? Oh no, it's cool. Fright for Leo is now gold-plated. I'm gonna be honest with you. Censored Ultimate Offering is infinitely more iconic than this. Oh, you know, blood, uh... Look how cool this is. They fixed Evil Twin, Kissakill, and Leela's art. So Leela's butt is covered by the skirt. I see, they've extended her skirt just a couple of inches. In Master Duel, even though they use the uncensored version for, or the, the censored version for the card art, the summon animation still shows Leela's ass. Incredible. It was actually extremely funny that they gave the Emperor who appears on a significant amount of cards with Tyrant in their name, like a wife beater. That shit is extremely funny. It's so much better than the nude one. Did you know they redesigned and blurred the flames on the TCG artwork of the Aeromage cards? I am trying to figure out why they did this. Fire bad, it's still clearly fire. Baguska the terribly tired Tapir used to be Baguska the stinking alcoholic drunk. We ha this has to be the next Lost Art. It's crazy because um both of these arts are good. Like the Baguska that's just like too drunk is like, I've been him. You know who else I've been? The Baguska that's just a little too eepy. Yeah, so every tier element monster has been censored in some way, but you really have to break out the microscope to discover how. I'll give you a couple of seconds to figure it out. Less thigh? So less thigh is true for Merly, but it's the same amount of thigh on the other two. On Havness, 
There's a couple of really minor changes to her, like, chest area. But the most notable change is they have made the armpit less detailed. And the second question you have to ask yourself is, why did they have to do that? Wait, they took her habit off? She was just a Binding of Isaac fan. This is the weirdest one ever. So, <laughs> Mad Lobster used to look like this. Now, you'll notice that this is a monster in the same pose, but the artwork has been, like, completely redrawn. Why is that? Because they just straight up traced the artwork from another online card game. And Konami was like, whoa, 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 whoa. That's a copyright issue. But we really like the concept. Yeah, so uh, Fiend Comedian is another one of those buffs where it actually looks great in the TCG. This is the OCG one. It's disgusting. Another buff. The original print of Ring of Destruction is a ring of grenades. It looks like the dumbest shit in the universe. The fire ring? Iconic. The fuck? They glued his ass crack shut! Uh... <laughs> this is strange. So, this card sorta came out around the same time as the Human Centipede. So they just made it like a weird ball that they were both holding with their head in the TCG. But they also removed this monster from the anime, and they just extended some scenes so that the combos were done without Shadow Feeler. In the defense of the sensors, seeing like a little too much of someone's tummy is like the hottest thing ever. The TCG artwork for Exosister Ellis and Exosister Machias uses a slightly different shade of green. What the fuck? Why? Yeah, they literally just brightened it. <laughs> they, they went, oh shit, load up the camera. We got to change the white balance. Oh, she's purple. Yeah, no, I I'm going to be honest with you. A lot of decisions made by early Konami in terms of censorship are like, we cannot let suburban moms figure out what their kids are playing with. Are you fucking with me? You want me to tribute someone a card called Lesser Fiend, and it's got, like, a goat's head and four arms and Baphomet-looking-ass wings and a tail? No, take all that shit off. He's just going to be a very muscular, four-armed man. That is not what the 4Kids edit of Zork is. You are fucking me. They gave him a moo, moo like an episode of The Simpsons? They literally said, cover him up, slut. That's incredible. It looks just as bad. It looks like he's fucking a dragon under there. It looks like there's two guys that make up Zork. One is like a humanoid and one is a dragon. And the humanoid is fucking the dragon under a sheet. They thought that the guy on Ego Boost looked like he was getting head. They thought the guy on Ego Boost looked like he was getting head. So they were like, no, you got to move off to the side. So it's clear you're not giving him head. That's incredible. God, look how happy he is about it too. Maji Gire Panda is like an angry panda who's like pissed off about something. The only thing they changed is in the old one, <laughs> there's a cowering mother and child in the background. <laughs> they were like, this looks a little too much like a domestic. Konami does not want you to know the power of the male bond. It might be that the implication is that if he's blushing, he's a little drunk, but uh, I like to imagine that they're just in love armpits again. Wow, we cannot be trusted with anything. They shut it. It's closed. They took the worm cussy from us. Look at that. It's just gone. That's the noise that the bottom worm king makes. On the art of pendulum area, they changed one chain link on the whole fence. This one right here. Ready, chat? Why? Oh my god. Wait, I, I knew they changed the color of Overworked, but you can see his skull. He's he's dead. He is dead. They recolored the asses on Gimmick Puppet Des Troy so it didn't look like they were wearing panties. If you are getting horny from this, you need to go to a hospital right now. Something's wrong. The, it's red instead of blue. Why does that matter? Disney copyright. She looks too much like Snow White. That's so funny. So if you're unfamiliar, Konami has been releasing uncensored versions of these in what are called the Lost Art Promotions. They do about seven cards at a time every couple of months. Next time one of these rolls around, we have to get the Skyfire Rocket Penis. Please.
I'm too horny for this shit. If I was gaining life points, I would never get no work done. <laughs> Don't put that one in. <laughs>